Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So I'm just going to do a bit of a craft along with me video today, a making art video. Um, I am still working on the Frances Hodgson Burnett um, kind of cozy journal. I'm really enjoying making it actually. I've made a bit of progress. I'm just working on a belly band right now that I need to stitch some buttons to. And I thought I would just turn on the camera because I'm working anyhow, so I might as well just work along with you. So what I did to create this belly band um, was um, I used a piece of like um, packaging paper, like um, card cardboard kind of packaging paper, so it's a little bit stiffer. Um, and then I just glued down some green backing fabric onto it and then added some laces and bits and bobs on top um, and then I took it over to the sewing machine and I stitched over the entire thing. I did a little bit of sort of almost like slow stitched lines that kind of thing um, and yeah I like how it looks. It fits the aesthetic of the book um, and now I just need to add a few buttons. This one here. There we go. I watched Ann Brooks video this morning because it's Friday um, for 52 Tags Handmade and um, it's Lazy Daisy so I've got to get everything together to work on that at some point. I don't know what my day is going to be like today. I do have obviously work to do today. I haven't started work really yet. One of the kind of annoying things about um, working at home all the time, which I actually quite enjoy, um, is, is that not everybody is good at it. <laughs> Meaning like some people, they start bothering you at like seven o'clock in the morning and stuff, which is pretty unacceptable. It's like, super annoying to be honest. <laughs> Where do I want that button? Or do I want that button at all? Does it not fit maybe? I'm kind of happy with it just like that. Maybe down here would be cute. Let me just tie off this. And don't be concerned with how this backing looks. It's not an important thing. But do make sure that you tie your knots nice and tight though so that nothing will ever come undone. That's that. Then let's get another knot here. Okay. And I like that down down on the green. That white looks nice down there. There we go. I'll go through one more time. So I haven't been up to too much really. It has been kind of a, an exciting week today. I have to do a little bit of shopping for groceries, which, you know, is always fun. But I am visiting with some close friends tomorrow. They're sort of our bubble friends because we're still just... Uh, we're not doing a whole lot because my children can't get vaccinated obviously they're too young and um, also I'm a little bit concerned with seeing a rise in numbers globally right now with the variants and that sort of thing so we will see how it all goes but it's definitely not over <laughs> I think some people may feel like it's over and unfortunately I think we still have a road to go and we have to keep on supporting each other and just keep trying to do this right and eventually we will get this to a manageable place. So this is going to go on here and I'm going to use um, Art Glitter Glue.
Okay. And then I did get a little bit done yesterday. I can show you. I, I did some work last night. I made this upper and lower kind of tuck spot with, um, I made a little journal card that, from a little princess. That's one of the, the um, Burnett stories. And then this little thistle tag that just pops in here. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I made um, a journal card from this vintage uh, flower card. And then I added this um, flip out of these beautiful sweet oranges. And then I made, um, so one of the themes that's going to run throughout this journal, just cause it's kind of like a cozy, like warm, fun times kind of life. Like I, I see this journal being like a nice thing to take to a cottage or even a bedtime journal, like it's cozy. Um, I've added these playing cards, these tiny little playing cards as kind of recurring motifs throughout the whole journal. So you'll see them like all around. And then I did this pocket and this is from, this is a tag I made last night from the, this is the original book page. It has a little Robin down there. So I put little Robin red breast and uh, that's in there. And I made another fun piece of ephemera. Um, oh, this journal card. So this was kind of fun. <clears throat> so this is from the Anna Green Gables journal book, and it was just this sort of stack of quilts and a bedside, um, on a bedside table with this lamp. And I found in a children's, like, poetry book, there's a tiny little table and a tiny little bed and a tiny little pillow for a tiny weeny head. And on the back, a tiny little blanket and a tiny little sheet and a tiny water bottle, hot for tiny little feet. I thought that was pretty cozy and perfect for the uh, journal card. Um, then over here, I made this. So this is, um, just like an envelope pocket that I made. What I did to make it was I took actually, uh, just a piece of regular, um, printer paper and a, sh and a, um, post-it note. I used the post-it note as a guide. I cut from the center of it and then cut all around to create a square that I needed. And then I have tons of this kind of either like acetate packaging plastic or this is a plastic from um it was like a cover for something I can't remember but I'm, I'm using it up slowly and I made the window from that and then I collaged the whole um outside I actually used an 18 70s 1880s poetry book and and added a poem here called moonrise added a little bit of like um lace trim here then once i had everything collaged before i added any lace um i just fold obviously it was folded a folded piece of paper with the window then um I did the collaging then on the back um, I took the square of the plastic and I added a little bit of glue to top and bottom um, actually no I didn't I used washi tape so I didn't use glue I used washi tape so it wouldn't add any kind of wetness to the paper because there's not a lot of glues like Fabri-Tac sort of works on this kind of plastic but not wonderfully I like to stitch it on so then um, I took it to the sewing machine and I stitched around the square adding that plastic stick on there and then I stitched um, down this side and this side and then I had also obviously collaged the inside of the envelope before I stitched it in order to not have some you know white space here and this is just some thistles um, and then I made a tag with some lace on top to just pop inside there so that was fun I think I would make more of those they're just a fun little thing to make um, and then I don't know if I had shown you this so I made just this um, the last thing I had done in this journal was I painted over this page in some pearl and added a little kind of floral label here and then I wanted something more like more writing space so I added like a flip up here added a little finch there this is packaging paper and um, this is a journal card essentially from the Anna Green Gables book so I think those are the things that I've done like since last showing you the journal I don't know maybe not there will be an official like flip through of this when I get it ready to go in the Etsy shop anyways but um I'm having fun with it it's very relaxing <laughs> so um so now I need to make a journal card for this um and 
I think I'm going to look at the original book pages again to see what I have. So I'll just put the book back over here. Um, take a look at what I've got left in terms of book pages. Because I'm about, um, yeah, I'm about halfway through the journal. So I tend to try to reserve things so that I spread them throughout the entire journal. Um, so this, Mr. Hobbs looked up inquiringly over the top of his newspaper. So there's that one. That's kind of a nice one. I like that one. I may not actually use this one. It's not really, um, I don't know, regardless of being like an original image, it's eh to me. <laughs> I kind of like the ones with the kids and stuff. That's a nice one. I think I'll go with this one. Um, so we need a journal card. So I'm going to start by just trimming off this edge. Um, thicken up the paper by gluing it down on top of this book page. Then I will just kind of go around the border once more. I'm going to be stitching this so it doesn't have to be like super glued or anything. Just snip it out here. this with some nice paper. Um, let's see what I have in my scrap bin down here. nice 1930 book plate. I don't think I'll use that to back it, even though that might be kind of cool. I don't know. But it's not the same book, but it doesn't really matter because I think in some ways I feel like it kind of just goes along with that cozy, you know, like a bedtime book kind of feel. And I think I want to use this side, but would that make it less of a journal card? You could still write though, I think. Yeah. I think it's fun. Let's do it. I think it's fun. I've been wanting to use this. It's like so cute. This nice little journal book plate. There we go. Yeah. Then I'll just snip here. what else I would want to put on this maybe I think I don't know if I have a little verse or something that would be nice let me grab my I know I have my book right here ha. Um, 
let's look at it again. So she's looking at a doll in in here. Maybe any creatures so beautiful, full of curiosity. That's kind of nice. Here we go. Let's use that one. Just like that. Then I'm going to be doing more inking on here soon. Actually, I'll just do this now, but I'm going to do some different inking too. I'll just grunge this up a little bit. This is just um, Tim Holtz Tattered Rose Distress Oxide. Then I want um, like a little floral sticker. I have these. I have to search it out, but I know I have. I actually have to probably order some more um, stickers. Just certain ones that I like to use. Perhaps that would be. This one better. Let's see. Yeah, I kind of like the shape of that one. I'm so happy I'm using up those little tiny playing cards though, because they are in my ephemera, that ephemera portfolio, and they always fall out the top and it drives me berserk. <laughs> so I'm happy to be using them up. Come on. just go over that with a little ink so it just blends a little better um, and then because this is going in a belly band I need I want something on the side of it so I think I'm just gonna take like a piece of pink lace and I'm gonna add it to the side here like so so I'm gonna add a little glue and then I'm gonna stitch um, the glue will just kind of hold it there for me like a rudimentary bit of a I haven't used this today I have to refill it actually I find these little sugar bell bottles are great for the fabric tac but you have to kind of keep them full I think that's why the other one that I had cracked was because it wasn't full enough and it just if you squeezed it plus the regular pressure of just the glue inside it just was too much for the um the plastic. So I'll just give that a second to set before I stitch around it. Um, so I will be right back. I'll just pause for a moment so I can stitch around this and then I will show it to you and we'll put it in the book. Okay, so we are all stitched around. And I just totally realized I forgot to turn my sun lamp off this whole time. So if you felt like you were on a beach <laughs> trying to watch this video, that was why. So I have this sun lamp that I keep on sometimes when I feel like I need a little bit more energy and it does kind of just put me in a better mood. <laughs> not that I'm in a bad mood. I just, it makes you kind of feel like you're outside when you're not outside <laughs> and you want to be. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, let's grab the journal from way back here where I put it. Um, there we go. Okay. Now, where were we? A little closer to here. There we go. Belly band is there. And then this will just um, not tuck inside here. <laughs> Let's see. Did I? Mm -hmm. I think I overestimated. You know what? I need to trim it a bit. Not a big deal. Let's see how much though. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what can happen when you're not like checking your measurements. So I'm going to trim from the top. I'm just going to go about here. Now that means I'm going to have to um, stitch the top again. 
just double checking my yeah that I can get in there and also I'm just gonna run my ruler through here just to make sure there's no weird catches or anything just in case doesn't seem to be yeah that goes in fine now perfect okay so give me one second I won't even pause I'll be so quick I don't need to pause hold on I was thinking just as I said that like this is gonna be when my bobbin thread runs out of my machine just to irk me now that I've said that I'm gonna be so quick <laughs> okay so there we go I'm happy with that we just lost his top hat which I'm fine with it isn't really adding to the overall need of the journal card okay that'll slip in there and I want it about there yeah just so the lace will hang out a little so then this is a stenciled page. It's good as is. Um, and I like this page. I'm just going to probably leave it. Maybe I'll put something up here. Maybe like um, a pocket or something. But actually, I need to do something on this page. Let's make some kind of a fun pocket or something. Maybe we'll use another piece of that acetate. That would be kind of fun. So let me just put my... I'm just going to put my ruler in there too. Gonna mark my spot and set the book back here. Now, I'm, I've had this little scrap here that I want to use. Come to me, please. There it is. Okay. Then I've got these pink monarch digitals. Um, I think I will use this one for this project. This is going to be a, like a tag inside of another one of those kind of pockets, but I have an idea for the pocket. Okay, so let's just glue this down first and we'll prep this part. to see my friends this week this weekend it's gonna be nice even though the weather's supposed to be a little stormy so we might have a bit of a handful with um, my kids and they're super fun cute but super <laughs> excited dog she is such a cute dog oh my gosh but she's a bigger dog and um, you know it can be a little overwhelming with little kids but we'll figure it out. <laughs> it's the challenges of, of life. I always felt like I used to have four dogs um, until this past, I guess, year and a half when we unfortunately lost two of them because they were, well, one of them, she was just old. She was a miniature dachshund named Lulu and she was a wonderful dog. Um, and I miss her a lot, um, but she just was old and you know how that goes. Um, I wish they could live as long as we do. That's why I sometimes think maybe the pet for me is a tortoise because <laughs> it will outlive me, but then I'd have to worry, I'd worry endlessly about where it would end up after I was gone. Um, but I guess my kids and then, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how hard to look after they are either. I always kind of dream of having one, but I'm also kind of of the mind that we shouldn't keep such animals as, as uh, pets and stuff because... They're better off in nature. Well, when nature is not also exploding, which sometimes it is. But anyways, that's kind of doom and gloom. <laughs> I don't mean to bring doom and gloom, but I'm a realist, so. Um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be nice. They were our 
they've been our bubble friends. Well, they were our bubble friends last summer. Like there's sort of been times where you've kind of needed a bubble and other times where you just didn't go around anybody, at least me. And then other times where you didn't as much need to be in such a bubble, but we still kind of were, but they've kind of remained our constant. <laughs> Um, which I'm really thankful for because it's nice when you find people that are just kind of on the same page as you in terms of your comfort level with different things and also being like casual cool people to travel with like I always think that's the time where you get to know people the most is when um, you decide to travel with them <laughs> then you find out if you're truly compatible or not <laughs> that's been my experience anyway so what I need is a page from the actual book just to see what the size I can work with. Actually, I'll, I'll use this page maybe for this. Um, so this will go inside here like that. And I need to just bring that over here. Actually, not from that side because I'll keep that fold intact. So we'll go with... I'm going to give this a little bit of space. I don't want to make it too small. So let's go there. And then I don't want it to be quite the same height. A little bit shorter maybe. That's good. Then, um, I think I'll use this as just my guide to, to make a cutout spot. There we go. Poke. And just kind of start. Don't worry too much about how neat or not neat this is. I mean you could go pretty neatly on this line but the thing is is if you're collaging over it you might even want kind of roughly edges. I didn't do like roughly edges on the last one but I'm thinking about it with this one. I don't know. Okay. All right. There we go. Now what I want to do with this one um, first of all, I have to collage it. The, so I have to collage this side because that's the front and then this inside the top because that's what you're going to see through the window. So I think, is this wide enough? It is just, I just have to make sure that I position it properly. further okay so when you see through you're gonna see that at the back which is good um, then I have to do the front and where's my plastic piece because I have this idea is this big enough let me check I actually want to double it because I want to make it have something inside of it yeah it's big enough okay so now I'm just going to kind of oops, just put it here like that, size it up. Now I'm going to trim it down so that I don't have more than I need. I'm sorry if you can hear some noise. My husband is vacuuming. I'm guessing there's a reason for that. <laughs> Children are the reason, in case you didn't know. Okay. So, there we go. So that's what I want to do. Um, now this one's going to be slightly trickier. Okay, sorry. I just had to grab something because I have a weird idea. This is my jar of milkweed um, seeds that I... Um, that I've collected for all sorts of things that I use them for. Um, I did a sort of an art yarn spinning project where I spun milkweed seeds. Um, so what I want to do is inside here, I want to trap a couple of them, a few of them, just 
for the fun of doing so. Okay. I don't recommend that you um, do a lot of picking of milkweed though because our monarchs really need it. These are several years old and I grew them myself um, for this purpose. They're part of my dye garden. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put them away, whoops. <laughs> very floaty as you can see they they've already migrated away from the plastic so now the tricky thing is is just trying to get them to get off of you <laughs> now oh see the slightest little breath will send them flying so just kind of also if you have gluey fingers not the best why am I doing this I'm just uh, setting myself up here for shenanigans but it's okay one more one more there we go oh and breathe <laughs> and breathe okay so you can see them inside of there and that is really cool right so here's what we're gonna do seeds in the middle because I don't want to stitch over them okay so that's that now I'm just gonna grab some washi tape just to hold everything in place so the washi tape don't use a fancy one I'm just gonna use my my standard one that I like using um, and you're just gonna put a little bit down because You want it to stay in place to stitch around. The stitching won't happen until after I've done the collaging though. Okay, there we go. So that is in there and it's secure. And then while I'm here, I'm actually gonna, um, actually I'll do it on the outside because this is really pretty washi tape. I'm actually gonna washi tape this. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna washi tape the seam, but I'm gonna do it after I collage so that it's on top because I love this washi tape so much. Um, so first we will bring this piece down. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be really pretty. I'm also thinking, you know what you could do, um, outside of making this pocket like I am, you could do something like this and keep this open and have this as journaling space and this as journaling space and just make it all really pretty. Um, now I need to collage 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 and I have I have all sorts of stuff here I'll just start using it up I don't know if you can hear the crash bang that's going on upstairs but <laughs> I apologize this is my I'm from the loud family they are the loud family but that's okay because he's doing something super useful and I respect that it's <laughs> another piece of ephemera for this book um, let's see what else oh that's pretty hmm I'll use that in the book too here we go that's what I need right here I have the wash page so now I need like a strip. This collage page is from the Paper Cameo. She makes really beautiful digitals on Etsy. I've talked about her before. try to cover this side first. Let me just grab a couple pieces of 
glue book page and I'll lay them underneath this so I don't get glue everywhere here. Um, Cause I'll trim the whole thing afterward. I'll get all the excess paper off. I'll do that side as well. we'll go ahead and trim the gluey bits now because they're going to bug me. Then I'm going to take a couple little pieces of this as I'm trimming it and I just I'm going to use it here to um, cover the corners. I'm a gluey mess right now. Oh lord. Okay. Okay, let me get rid of this extra. And then I'll glue those down properly. That one's actually good. It's down. Okay. Then over here, we need to grab these ones off. This one I actually can just glue on the inside. It will give a little more stiffness to the whole thing. I could actually just do this because we can close this up now. Yeah, let's close that right up. Then I've just got this top and bottom to do. Um, So I think I'm actually just going to use more of this collage page. It's just really nice and I think it, it's doing its job. Cover here, yeah. Oops. Get this bit of glue off here. Okay, then I think I just want to make the back of this a little thicker, so I'm actually going to glue it down on a glue page. Um, I just feel like it needs a little more stability because this original book, the paper in it was kind of thin. So I think I'll just um, glue that down one more time. Okay, yeah, that feels significantly more sturdy and I will trim the excess paper off here it's going to trim that ever so slightly smaller okay 
And I think I want with this one to round the corners. Then, let me find my seeds here. There they are. Okay. I just remembered, I didn't stitch this. <laughs> Which side did I seal down? This one? Yeah, this one. Okay, I have to reopen it. I, I forgot that I have to still stitch. Silly, silly. You're here for the bloopers, right? Because I have them today. Goodness. Okay, yeah, because I still have to stitch around here, right? So that was the whole point of leaving it open. <laughs> okay. So the other thing I talked about wanting to do was washi taping right here. Um, so let me do that now. So that will just give us a nice now I've got to shake this down so that all the seeds are out of the way of where I'm going to be stitching. Try to get them in the center. There we go. So they're both in the center now. All right, so give me one moment. I will be right back while I stitch this. Okay, so we are all stitched around. So what I did was um, from the inside on the back, I just stitched around this with, I did a zigzag this time just for the fun of it. I want it to be kind of scrappier and I just like zigzagging on these kind of projects. Um, then um, I stitched around the whole edge, including the one on the inside that I washied. I didn't need to, I just did it for consistency. So now we have like a trapped, um, sort of sack right with some trapped things inside here and that's kind of fun so this will go inside here um, like so but I'm going to put a couple of well, actually this way I'm going to put a few things on this before I pop it in um, so I'm going to stitch around it but first I want to add some lace to the top and I'm going to go with um, something Let's see, maybe this, hold on. Sorry, you can't see, I know. My lace is off to the side here, but you will hear soon. I'm gonna put that at the top, um, a white for contrast. And just um, trim these little bitties off here. Okay. So that will go here. Then I need some kind of a focal point. I could cut something out, but I do have some fun things in here. And I'm thinking maybe, um, not a flower. Let's see. That could be nice. Some kind of a fairy could be nice. Hummingbird. Mm. Oh, this one's nice. Hold on. I'm just trying to find the very right thing, and I think I think it might be this one because she will stand out and she'll bring out the pink in the tag. Um, but there's also what's this one? Hold on. Pink, pink. Kind of like that one, I think. Yeah. Alrighty, let me just shove these back in here. Tea. I need tea. Here we go. This is lavender buttercream tea from David's, and it's so good. Oh my goodness. It's got some little tea floaties in it because, you know... At 6 a.m. I'm only so um, good with the bottom. 
I'm only so awake at that time of day. I don't know. I have not been sleeping lately. I think it's, it's approaching. I don't know if it's like seasons changing. I think it's a little early for that, but this year has been so weird. It's been such a strangely cool kind of summer. Like we have these hot flashes sort of, but overall it's been a pretty cool summer. Um, so where did I say I wanted her about here? line up that straight bottom with that straight line there we go okay so I'm just gonna stitch her on give me one sec okay we're back just getting these little threads off and now I've been collecting all of my spare threads and keeping them in my ort jar as Ann Brooke calls it ort <laughs> so they will be good for creating another tag. Um, okay, so that's good. And I could fold that over if I wanted to, but I think I want to leave it high because then you'll have something you can, you know, grab a hold of to pull this tag right out. So inside, you can see, um, oops, let me just get this last little thread here. So you can see that, you know, the plastic window, it's got the milkweed trapped in there and it kind of gives this nice sort of foggy look and you see her back there and you can pull that on out. Um, the only other thing that I would do is um, just the little things that I've glued on. I'll just check them for little fold up areas, which I think that was the only one. Yeah then I would go over it with a bit of the Distress Oxide to just get rid of any white space. Just kind of blend things here. It also is kind of a nice thing to ink last because you feel like you flatten everything down and um, you make the whole thing kind of feel more, I don't know, just glued down better. <laughs> that makes sense and I need to ink the back of this just get rid of all this white I mean that's really old paper anyways but just for continuity and I might even throw a little ink on here on the ribbon just so it's not so stark white even though I like the contrast that it gives being white okay that's that then I might just um, carry over a little bit of washi tape onto here for the fun of it because I have washi tape on here and I might do the same on here because we have a hard line right here and I just want to break it up a little there we go um, and then yeah I'm pretty happy with that so let's pop it in the journal and we will have another page done so let's grab this and the other option that you have too with these kind of things is you could um you could leave like a pocket on the side open to pull something extra out of um you could even have left this side open to stick things in and out that way but i'm not going to do any of that i'm just going to glue it down on the page because i don't want to stick anything on this original book page i think if you use a thicker paper it's, it's better on a thicker paper to do that sort of thing. It depends on the book page. Some book pages are really nice and thick and cottony. Others are very thin. This one was kind of a, in the middle. It was a little thinner. I just have to unclog my glue bottle a little. There we go. Did I get it? Kind of. I think we still have a little bit of a clog. Sorry, I'm off camera. Um, I'm just covering the back of this with art glitter glue. You will see me put it down in one second. Just moving things out of the way. There we go. So then we'll bring it here, pop it down, and then just kind of hold it for a moment. Then what I like to do is flip the page this way because it allows you to just kind of smooth the whole back 
And then you get a nice flat piece on your page. I'll just check and make sure this comes out fine. Nothing's glued anywhere weird. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let's make sure that edge has glue. It does. It needs a little more right here though. Just a little more. Come on, glue bottle. Yeah, there we go. I'm just making sure it stays down nicely on this edge. I don't like anything to be kind of popping up. That's the care that you have to take with these kind of things is just making sure that it all comes together. With anything thicker you put in a journal, you don't put um, something this thick on obviously every page unless you're doing like an altar book um, these are kind of like the highlights in the journal because if you put too many of them they wouldn't really they would make your journal too fat probably but they would also not stay down that well if all the pages you know if every page had something like this on it they would just bulk up too much but there and again it's good so that is what we're doing for today um, and I think the contrast is really nice against this botanical page. So thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a really lovely day and I'll be back soon in another video. Take care.